Picture a world where cars fly and the unbelievable is achievable. Leave everything you know about transport behind. The future is here. From a groundbreaking 2500 Japanese sphere car to stunning flying machines and robot bees that buzz like nature. This is not science fiction, it's reality. Ready to see technology off the screen? Stay tuned because this ride will blow your mind. Engineers at the illustrious company Toyota have unveiled a groundbreaking new innovation that feels ripped from the pages of a sci-fi movie, the TE Spinner, a spherical transport pod. Initially, it looks like it was lifted directly from the set of a futuristic superhero movie, a glassy sphere containing two seats, and through the transparent glass, passengers enjoy an unhindered view of everything that surrounds them. This, however, is more than mere illusion. The trick lies in the way it moves, thanks to an exceptionally well-designed system based on the humble hamster exercise wheel, the entire sphere can spin and move across surfaces with ease. A wheeled carriage at the center of the TE Spinner's design runs on internal tracks, propelling the pod down the road and creating its hypnotic spinning motion at the same time. Steering the sleek pod is surprisingly intuitive. An onboard joystick controller within the sphere lets users control direction and speed precisely. The journey to full-size prototype size was humble to start. The engineers at Toyota initially came up with a miniature prototype about the size of the palm of the hand, and within only four months, they managed to scale up their design into a fully working prototype two meters in diameter, large enough to comfortably transport human passengers. A concrete peek into the future of personal mobility, the TE Spinner is changing what motorized travel can be. Pivotal Black Fly, the next generation personal flying car, dubbed the Black Fly, was launched by US company Pivotal, which has taken personal air transport to a newer level. As a one person aerial car, the Black Fly is built using lightweight but tough carbon fiber for strength and better fuel economy. The aircraft has an innovative design featuring eight electric propellers on two parallel wings for an even and soothing flight experience. With its sleek and modern looks, the Black Fly's top speed has been kept intentionally restricted to 100 kilometers per hour for safety and maneuverability. With a full charge, it can travel distances of 64 kilometers, and it is perfect for short city commutes or pleasure rides. The Black Fly is powered purely by electricity and can be charged easily through a standard power outlet, and full charge takes 30 to 40 minutes. With its vertical takeoff and landing feature, it can take off and land from almost any open piece of land, needing only 40 meters of space. The aircraft is easy to steer, using a joystick control system backed by automatic takeoff off, hover, and landing modes. High-tech stabilization systems provide silky and steady flight despite unwanted wind ripples or motor failure. As a further safeguard, it has an integrated ballistic parachute, which can be deployed for critical emergency situations, keeping the pilot safe and secure. Sweden took center stage in the competition for personal aircraft with its own sleek, high-tech product, the Jetson 1, a one-person electric plane conceived by cutting-edge company Jetson Aero. Created to make private flight convenient and exhilarating, the Jetson 1 is constructed from a lightweight but strong aluminum framework and carbon Kevlar composite material. This design decision keeps the aircraft's empty weight to a mere 86 kilograms, an achievement that optimizes both performance and maneuverability and still delivers safety. Safety. Eight independent electric motors, each supported by a propeller, power the plane. With this redundancy, the Jetson 1 can still safely fly when one motor suddenly fails. Top speed is software restricted to 102 km per hour, a balance between thrills and secure maneuvering. With a full charge, it can provide 20 minutes flight, suitable for recreational purposes or short city hops. With an altitude capability for 1,500 meters, most demo tests take place at lower altitudes for safety safety and for presentation purposes. Convenience is also an objective. It's one hour recharge from a standard charge and ability to be garaged. It also features disassembly for easier transport and stowage due to its smart design. When robotics and nature cross over and blend seamlessly together, the outcome is the beautiful bionic achievement that is the bionic bee. At first glance, this robotic bee may appear larger than nature's own, but it tips the scales at only 23 grams, lighter and more delicate than an actual bee. What makes the bionic bee unique is the fact that it can fly as part of coordinated swarms, similar to its natural counterparts, but tests currently only work within groups of a dozen. Getting to this level of functionality was an exercise 
for two years, which the designer spent perfecting the design, studying the flight patterns and behaviors of actual bees. Every feathering and every turn was studied so the robotic counterpart could be as agile and elegant as the real insect. The possibilities offered by Bionic Bee go beyond mere imitation, however. It's seen as a flexible tool, one that can assist search and rescue missions, provide surveillance for public events, and act as an interactive learning device and an introduction to robotics and drone technology for children. The concept of synthetic bees flying and being part of nature may seem like science fiction, but the Bionic Bee is a real-life view of what the future holds, one that incorporates nature and machines working together to carry out tasks previously solely the work of live animals. The Kea Atmos lifts off directly from the roof of a car and flies smoothly, ranging skyward toward the heights of the atmosphere, where clouds thin and space itself feels within grasp. This cutting-edge wonder is the first unmanned aircraft powered solely by solar energy and capable of sustained flight within the stratosphere. With a 12.5 meter spread wing, it already impresses, but this is only the beginning for its creators. Plans are already underway to design a larger model, one with a 30 meter spread wing, which promises to push the limits of what solar-powered flight can offer. Early trials have been strongly encouraging. The Kea Atmos is already able to fly for an average 16 hours, demonstrating its efficiency and stamina. Its possibilities are broad and far-reaching, ranging from high-altitude scientific observation and atmospheric monitoring through to more tactical applications like military surveillance. Its capacity for autonomous flight at such altitude makes it perfect for long-term surveillance and environmental data harvesting. The Kea Atmos stands at the cutting edge Edge, foreshadowing an era when clean, renewable energy drives cutting-edge technology to observe and discover the world from on high, opening new doors for human understanding. The Skysurfer aircraft is a remarkable innovation that crosses the line between what we traditionally consider a drone and a hoverboard, bringing about a singular personal flying machine unlike anything currently available. This electric wonder is built for short-range flight and can fly at substantial speeds of 105 km per hour, giving its pilot an unforgettable experience. With the common drawback of most pioneering electric flying apparatus though, it suffers from battery life. A full charge lasts for approximately 20 minutes making it practical for quick commutes, city deliveries, or entertainment use. As compact as it is, the Skysurfer aircraft has an impressively large payload capacity of 227 kilograms, keeping it capable of safely taking on board the pilot any protective equipment or light loads. One of the most exciting features of this aircraft is its intuitive control system, which has been painstakingly tested and refined. Indeed, the Skysurfer can be flown using only one hand, an assurance of the meticulous engineering that has gone into its design. That simplicity makes it an opening door to numerous possibilities, ranging from personal commute to commercial deliveries. It's easy to see a day when urban skies are filled with sky surfers, changing the way goods and people travel through crowded cityscapes. Standing before you is the Mighty Bloodhound SSC, a rocket car built specifically for one and only one mission to shatter the world land speed record, and for the first and only time in human history, cross the impressive barrier of 1,610 km per hour, the holy grail of 1,000 miles per hour. This rocket car was first rolled out for the public to see during its first runs at Cornwall Newquay Airport when it accelerated to a heart-stopping 340 km per hour, but this was only the first act of Bloodhound's unrelenting quest for supersonic triumph. The Bloodhound SSC is more than car though. It's an amalgam of cutting edge technologies taken from jet fighters, Formula One racing cars, and even space aircraft. With a 7.5 ton mass, it's an unholy behemoth of speed. Beneath its aerodynamically wrapped shell lies a Eurofighter Typhoon Erica frame coupled with a rocket propulsion system, which produces an awe-inspiring total output of 135,000 horsepower, double that of an entire season's worth of Formula One cars. At its record speed, Bloodhound will annihilate distance, covering one mile in 3.6 seconds, the same as racing 4.5 football pitches every second. To set it against a standard, it travels 300 meters quicker than the human blink.
Leo Flight has rolled out its new innovation for personal air mobility, an innovative electric flying car called Leo Solo. The cutting edge aircraft was first shown at the top CES show in Las Vegas back in January 2025, when it was presented to the public through an interactive virtual reality presentation. With 24 electric jet engines for lifting, the Leo Solo combines striking lifting power and high safety thanks to its redundant system for ensuring reliability in the event that one or more motors fail. With a top speed limited to 100 km per hour, it's perfect for short-range urban trips, and its flight range goes as far as 32 km on one charge. Advanced semi-automatic fly-by-wire control makes it easy to pilot, and it can be flown by anyone, even those with little experience. It can be charged using standard motor car charging stations for ease and convenience, and it integrates perfectly into existing infrastructure. Leo Flight is also working on a two-seater variation called Leo Coupe, which promises to offer much greater performance, reaching speeds of 322 km per hour and a flight range of 42 km. Production of the Leo Coupe will start by 2027, which indicates the firm's real intentions to introduce personal air travel to daily use. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more awesome content. See you next time.